how to buy and sell crypto on the Webull platform. We're going to be covering all of that here in this video. So we're going to just dive right on in. We're at the Webull homepage. We'll leave a link down below in the pinned comment and description box. If you guys have not already signed up, gotten your free stocks for doing so, there will be a link down below to Webull to go ahead and do so. It is free to do. All you have to do is sign up, deposit some money, and you'll get some free stocks in the process. I believe you also get some free stocks just for signing up as well. So let us cover that. We're looking right now at the homepage of crypto on Webull. We're going to dive into the platform in just one second, and we'll show you guys how to buy and sell. We'll do some examples. We'll talk about the order types and how that all works. And then, of course, we want to dive into the details as to what you can trade. And then, of course, on top of that, when you can trade it, because crypto trading, right, you don't have to abide by the market hours of, you know, 9.30 a.m. Eastern all the way to 4 p.m. Eastern. And on Webull, you know, trading hours for the stock market from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. where you get full pre-market and full after hours. Crypto is different. You can trade on the weekends. You can trade, you know, at midnight, whatever. So here we go. Uh, SHIB is now available. Shiba Inu is now available on Webull. You can trade that, but you can trade these cryptos with a $1 minimum. Okay, so you don't have to buy an entire coin. You don't have to worry about that. All you need is $1 to get started and buy your crypto that way. So here is a running list. We'll actually show you guys a broader list, but here's a running list of all the different cryptos you can actually buy on Webull. Okay, so here's a list. I will slowly go through if you want to screenshot this list or you can go to their website. This is changing because they're always updating and adding more as, you know, more coins become more popular. So just make sure you're aware of that. Dogecoin, you know, on there we have um, Litecoin, you have Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin, Ethereum. You have Shiba Inu as well right now. Um, you know, we have Dash, we have Cardano. So there's a lot there to choose from. Um, but here we go. When it gets interesting, I think you need to understand this before we dive in. So some of the FAQs, frequently asked questions. To do this, you'll have to go into the app, okay? So you know, we're going to use the desktop platform. It's very similar in terms of once you're actually on, you know, the platform to buy and sell crypto. But we're going to use the desktop platform because it's easier to see, you know, how to enter your orders in the different order types, I think. But you have to go to the app, make sure it's updated, okay? Tap on the bottom Webull icon in the middle, okay? So it's a little bit of a, we it's a little circle Webull icon. Then tap on more and then tap on crypto trading to go ahead and apply for that if you don't have already access to crypto trading, okay? Then here we go in terms of what cryptocurrencies you can trade. We already went through that list, but here is a list that they have right down there. Um, you can screenshot that as well. Now, in terms of the hours you can trade crypto, here's where it's very important. You need to know this. So you can trade crypto seven days a week around the clock as you know a lot of platforms and as they say, but there is a temporary unavailability during the hours of 5.30 p.m. Eastern to 6.30 p.m. Eastern for routine maintenance and account reconciliation. So if you have orders set and we hit that 5.30 p.m. Eastern, those orders will be canceled and you'll have to reset that order after 6.30 p.m. Eastern for it to then work through the rest of the next day if you're looking at a day order, which we'll explain that and we'll show you guys how to do that here in just one second as we start walking through. So make sure you know that. And in terms of how Webull is getting their crypto trading services, they're all doing this through Apex Crypto LLC. So if you want to look deeper into Apex Crypto, I would highly recommend you do so if you're concerned about that before we dive on in. You're also going to get emails once you make trades. And I believe you're going to get emails and they'll say like Apex Crypto confirmation, something along those lines. You'll get an email. So if you see an email like that, that come through after you make an order, just know that it's coming from here. And people always are going to be like, what is this? You know, am, am I doing some weird shitty stuff? No, it's this is this is why you're getting that email. It's because Webull's working with them. And that's how they facilitate these trades. One last thing that I do want to also cover this platform right now as we speak, it's not a wallet. Okay, so you can't send your crypto to somebody else or to a different address and you can't accept it that way. This platform is really looking to take advantage of trading them and profiting off the moves, okay? So we're not able to send and, and do all that different stuff and buy things with our crypto here. We're able to trade it. So make sure you know that before you dive in. Now, we've had some rumors of Robinhood adding the crypto wallet feature. I wouldn't be surprised if Webull has that coming in the coming weeks and months. I would not be surprised, and it's already in the works. But at least as of right now, when we're filming this video, and that may change, if, if you're watching this video after the fact, leave a comment down below if they've added this, but they do not have the wallet feature 
as of right now. All right, guys, so let's dive on in. We're right now we're using the desktop platform and we currently have a customized layout. If you guys want to learn how to, you know, use Webull and all the features, there's plenty of videos on the channel. There's a playlist going over Webull tutorials, um, how to set it all up, the desktop, all that stuff. We got it all here on the channel. So go ahead and check it out. But we've set up our desktop layout. It's what I use for stocks as well. But now let's go ahead and add or enter in some orders and, and buy some Bitcoin right now. And then we'll sell some Bitcoin. We'll do it all right here in front of you guys so you can see how it works, how the order types work and all that good stuff. Right now I have the chart pulled up to the daily chart. Let me go to like the one day, one minute charts. Now we can see kind of like a live, you know, every couple seconds we're going to see, you know, this fluctuating. And we see that Bitcoin made a nice move off of 61,000, hit up to 62.4. And now it's pulling back just a touch as we are sitting here right now. So this bad boy right here, this is our order entry widget. If I go into the top right, hit the toolbox, I'm going to see the widget section. This is under the trade tab. It is under classic trade, okay? We are in the classic trade widget, which I'm actually going to get rid of because we already have it pulled up on the right-hand side. That's this guy right here. We are under the classic trade widget. Make sure your groups are set to the same group as your chart, as your quote. So when you have the group all set to the same, when you type in, let's say Bitcoin right here, or let's say I want to go to Ethereum, I want to go to ETH. Uh, if I type in Ethereum, then it's all going to change the chart. It's going to change the quote up on the top. It'll change everything. Um, and we cover that also in some of those Webull tutorials if you guys want more information on how that stuff works, okay? Now, the ticker symbols, okay? So when you're typing this stuff in, you may just think Bitcoin is BTC. Yes, but on Webull, it's BTC USD. You have to add the USD when you're typing these cryptos in, okay? So if I wanna look for Cardano, normally ADA, right? But I have to make sure I add the USD and that will pull up the quotes right now in terms of crypto, okay? So make sure you know that going in and you'll when you go to the order entry, you go to your little search tab right here um, on your widget and I type in BTC again, for example, it'll actually pull up down here. You go down a couple, uh, a couple on the list and Bitcoin right here pulls up. BTC, USD, pull that right up and we're good to go. So now we have options, okay? So when it comes down to it, we have different options in terms of our orders. Okay, so we have the buy and sell, obviously, pretty straightforward and, you know, fairly simple to, to understand, right? Now we have a limit or a market, okay? So when it comes down to it, a market order is going to fill you right away at the market price. Most likely you're going to get filled at a probably a higher price than maybe where we're sitting at right now. Um, that is going to make sure you get filled. There is a seller for you to buy, okay? And the same thing on the downside when you're selling, you'll get filled probably a little bit lower than where, where the price is exactly sitting at right now because they're making sure that there is a buyer for you being the seller when you're selling a market order. That's pretty straightforward. It's very similar to stocks. Limit order, also very straightforward and very similar to stocks. I'm able to set a price that I don't want to pay more, okay? when it comes to buying my Bitcoin or buying whatever crypto I want to buy. We'll go ahead and we'll use a market order first. So let's go through that process and I'll show you guys how that works. What I'm going to then do is then we have the next leg of this, okay? So here we go. Under quantity, we have options. See this little dollar sign right here? I can click amount in dollars or I can click on that option right there. And now it's going to have a little Bitcoin sign. Now this is also classified as the coin sign. So I can then specify how much of whatever coin I am trading, I wanna buy. So right now, if I click on one, that's going to cost me $62,000 right now. I don't think I have that in the account as as available cash, so I need to make sure that I don't do that or the broker or the platform will just won't allow me to buy that much. So I can go in and I can go and put 0001 if I wanna buy that much of a Bitcoin and I can go ahead and do that right there. Need to make sure we're over that $1 minimum um, and that's really all you have to worry about. Then I can also go and add and, and buy a percentage of my portfolio. So I can click on a percentage right here. Um, I know some people like to trade that way and that may be an opportunity for you to add in, you know, 6% right there, boom. Just like that, I wanna buy 6%, done. So that's also another option that you have. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to go ahead with the dollar amount. Let's say I wanna buy 50 bucks worth of Bitcoin right now. I'm going to go market order, which we have selected, and I have dollar amount, $50, boom. Click on buy Bitcoin, done. I have now bought $50 worth of Bitcoin. Now notice this, guys, I just broadened things out. We got filled way higher. We got filled toward the ask. That's the danger of using a market order. So you have to make sure you're aware of that. If I was to go and sell right now, 
I'm gonna lose some money on, on this Bitcoin position that I currently have. So how do we combat that? How do we make sure we get a good price? It may take a little bit longer for you to get filled, but here's where we are going to use a limit order, okay? I'm going to go with a limit order. I still wanna buy $50 worth of Bitcoin, so I'm gonna add 50 more dollars. I'm gonna have $100 in there. But now I wanna specify the price that I'm willing to pay, okay? So you notice that this is probably going to be more useful, especially if you don't wanna overpay for, let's say, your Bitcoin. Okay, so let's say I'm going to look at right now 62,000, 300. That's going to be my level right there. I'm going to say, I don't want to pay any more than 62,300. And I want to buy $50 worth of Bitcoin if I can get it at that price or better. So now I have my limit order set for 62,300. And notice that right now we are trading above that current price point. So we need to wait for Bitcoin to come down below for me to get a chance to get filled at my $50 addition uh, to my current position. Now, let's say that it's going up and I'm not going to get filled. Let's say it's not going to come back down. I don't think it's going to come back down and I need to make sure I get in. What I can then do is I can go ahead and cancel this order and then redo one. So I'm going to click on the X right here. I'm going to cancel that order. I'm going to come back to my order entry right here and I'm going to change this and I'm going to go to 62,400. I'm going to select that and put that order in. Now, give it a little bit, but now we're going to get filled at this price or lower. Okay, it finally got filled. So what I want to make sure you're aware of is the bid and the ask. Now, this is a very interesting kind of topic or at least discussion because this is a very large bid and ask and you're only really going to get filled closer to the ask. So we see the ask is almost near 63 thousand dollars and the bids down here towards 61.7 so we notice a pretty wide spread on that bid and ask but if you were to go and compare to other platforms and compare to the crypto price or the, the trading price of that crypto it's actually quite interesting i think it's something to note so when you're looking at this on weeble when you're looking to buy you're going to get filled up towards the ask and selling down towards the bid so that's something to pay attention to Okay, great. So we talked about how to buy our crypto now. We know how to use the limit orders versus the market orders and make sure when you when you have those limit orders set, you're setting a price that you don't want to pay more, right? So if let's say Bitcoin's pushing up right now and I'm like, I want to buy a pullback, but I don't want to sit here and watch, I'll set a limit order maybe to 62,200. And if it dips back down below that level by the end of the day, hey, that'll hit. But now we talk about the end of the day. Here's what's important to note, the time and force, okay? Now, note this, I'm gonna zoom in. A day order is an order that automatically expires at 17.30 Eastern time, if not executed on the day or the order was when the order was placed. These, they do not automatically carry over into the next trading session. That's what I was talking about earlier. 5.30 p.m. Eastern time, that is the time that if you had orders open that were day orders, they will get canceled. You'll have to wait for another hour to then re-put that order back in for then it to be active for the next 24 hours, roughly 23 hours when using a day order. But if we go to a market order, okay, IOC is an immediate or cancel order, okay? This is going to buy or sell a security that executes all or part of the order immediately, typically in five seconds or less, and then it will cancel any unfilled portion of the order. So this is what you'll use or what you'll notice um, is the option when you use a market order. So it's either going to fill you right away or they're not. And that's why when using a market order, you're going to get filled up towards the ask because it needs to make sure it gets you in and that is it. So I would recommend you look to use limit orders and look at the bigger picture and look for pullbacks or look for price points where you don't wanna pay more. Now, if you don't really care and you're looking at buying Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever crypto for the long term, a market order just gets you in right now and who really cares? And it's not a huge deal. But if you're looking to actively trade these things, you gotta be careful of using those market orders and especially limit orders, they're gonna take a little bit longer to fill and you need to wait for those pullbacks for you to get filled when you're buying your crypto. So now if I wanna go ahead and sell my crypto, I will go to the sell side. I can then utilize the same exact strategy, a limit order. I can utilize a day order. So this is not going to be like, you're not gonna be able to use good till canceled orders where you can set a price point and walk away. You're gonna to have to monitor this because they will get canceled by the end of the day by 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. So I can come in here, set my limit order. Um, I'll have my amount that I wanna sell. So for example, in this case, I wanna sell roughly $100 worth of Bitcoin. 
because um, that's how much I have in. And then I will be able to set my limit price. Let's say I want to sell this thing at like 65,000. I can go ahead and set that to 65,000. And if it goes that high today, I'll get taken out. If it doesn't, I'll have to come back tomorrow and then do the exact same thing. So that's what you gotta be paying attention to when it comes to buying and selling crypto on the Webull platform. I'm gonna hold on to mine right now because I think we're gonna see a bigger move um, as it is, and I might actually buy some more. But that said, you know, it goes the exact same way when it comes to selling, okay? So set your limit prices, set your amount, quantity, set your, you know, let's say you wanted to go in coin, let's, I can go in and enter in the, the total amount of Bitcoin that I currently have, and I can go ahead and set my sell and sell my, you know, entire position of Bitcoin. Um, all right now or at a limit price or a market order or whatever I want to do as of right now. And that's how it goes, guys. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And make sure if you haven't already signed up, grab those free stocks, grab that link down below in the pinned comment and description box, which will get you guys signed up with Webull um, if you're interested. And if you don't already have the platform, that pretty much covers it. If you want to learn more about the platform, how to set things up, definitely check out our Webull playlist on the channel here already. And we hope to see you guys in a future video. Hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.